Greetings, Marketing Wizard Jim Ackerman here with another marketing tip of the day. And I've talked to you about the idea, still at the farmer's market in Logan, Utah, that many of the people who own booths here are married to their craft. They love what they do, but they're not necessarily dedicated to building it into a full-time business. One of the exceptions to the rule is Liz Butcher, who's here with me right now, and we're going to talk to her about the way she's been able to turn her hobby into a business. Liz, let's talk about that for just a minute now. Uh, it's been since 2009 where you switched from being a, uh, a vendor of vegetables to a vendor of jam. Tell me very quickly about that decision making process. I made that decision when the times the recession hit us all and everybody in my local area started growing produce as well as I did and selling that. So I took my produce and I turned it into jam and my jam became a marketable pro, uh, product where produce is not a marketable, pro, marketable product. And that jam took off and is selling like wildfire. Number one, it's a sugar-free or no sugar added jam and is appealing to many, many audiences. Um, as well as I put chocolate in it, I put different kinds of fine liqueurs in it to flavor it. Um, it is a unique product. It is not, there's no other product on the market like it right now. It's been picked up by, you know, dozens of stores in Salt Lake, in the Park City area in Utah, and we're now going nationwide with that product. So, it is my life. It's what I love to do. One of the things you said is that Williams Sonoma had picked it up, which of course is a catalog right. type thing. Right. Well, we've just completed the paperwork with Williams Sonoma and plan to be in the stores and catalog by Christmas of this year. So. Okay, now here's the important thing. Liz was willing to do a couple of things. Number one, think outside the box, right? Absolutely. Number two, she was willing to um, uh, partner with outfits like Williams Sonoma. You know what, if you have a product, you don't necessarily have to do all the marketing yourself. The catalog concept is one that many people who have, many people who are at this very event could get into catalogs because some of the products are extremely unique. But you've got to be willing to think outside the box and look for opportunities like that. And that's your marketing tip of the day.